All right, everybody, Zion Racing Team. Got the car up on stands, getting ready, starting to loosen everything. We just drained the fluid, and now we're getting to all the bolts and everything that we got. Um, starter bolts, there's gonna be a starter bolt on this side so that you know it's a 14 millimeter. You gotta take that one off, and then there's another starter bolt on the back end that I'll show you. That one comes off, and then the starter can take off. Um, has a couple plugs you just gotta disconnect. Um, there's some bolts here for the transmission. Transmission doesn't have too many bolts. There's three bolts up top here and the rest of them are at the bottom. So I'll go ahead and bring you down there so you guys can see what's going on. So we drained the transmission already. And if you can see there, here's a starter. This is the bolt from the bottom that you gotta take off. Um, then there's the bolt at the top that I told you about. That one is accessed through the top side. It's easier to get it from that side. You unbolt that, then the starter comes off. You got this 12 millimeter connection um, up here on the starter. You take that off as well. And then there's some wiring and stuff here on the transmission that you disconnect so that you can, you know, when you pull the transmission, it doesn't get snagged up. Um, this is the bolt that I was selling you on the starter. Then you got another bolt down here. And there's one more bolt up there in the corner. Um, those are all 14 millimeter bolts that you're gonna take off to pull the transmission off but you're we're not at that point yet right now we're just disconnecting everything um, this is transmission mount we got a new one that we're gonna replace um, you unbolt these two here that frees up the transmission once you take off the other bolts and then the transmission can slide out you got to disconnect the drive shaft the drive shaft has four bolts um, this car has some mismatch bolts on one of them, but they're 12 and 14 millimeter bolts. Um, you just get a couple wrenches, you disconnect that, the drive shaft will slide right out, and then you're pretty much almost ready to pull the whole transmission. So we'll just set this up on the side, start wrenching away. Um, you guys will kind of see the process. I'll speed up the video so it's not so long for you, but um, we'll go ahead and show you pretty much how we do it. It's pretty straightforward on this car. It's not really that crazy. We'll find a good angle for you guys here. All right, well, let's get to it. You want to disconnect that bolt up there, George? You got it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's got that one on. Get this one off here. And the starter comes off. You see it there? It's placed to the side. And you'll see. Under that starter, there's a bolt here. That's one of the other bolts for the transmission that you're gonna to need to take out in order to take the transmission off. For right now, we're gonna go ahead and take the drive shaft bolts off and we'll get back to you in a second. All right, everybody, got the drive shaft off. You see the back housing there, that's the rear seal for the transmission um, where the drive shaft goes into. And then here you'll see where the drive shaft bolted up to. Just had some bolts on each side. You take them off and you hit the drive shaft with a little rubber mallet so you don't damage it and it releases it from here. And then you just slide it out of there. So right now, we're gonna disconnect the exhaust. It's just two bolts, one here, one here. Um, these ones have uh, mismatched bolts also. A previous owner just kind of hodgepodge it together, but 
We're gonna make sure it's all squared away today with the new uh, racing beat stuff that we got. And so we'll just take off the exhaust right now. That'll give us the access to everything that we need and out of the way. Um, and we'll take the transmission down. Uh, one thing I didn't mention earlier is that uh, you do have to go inside the car and remove the shifter. And that's just three 10 millimeter bolts that you take off and the shifter slides right out. Um, I'll show you that in a little bit, but we're gonna keep wrenching here and we'll be back to you in a minute. All right, guys, wanted to show you four bolts on the header. You see it's a racing beat header. It's two on the top, two on the bottom, 14 millimeter bolts. We're gonna unbolt that. It'll free up the header. Then we'll loosen the exhaust. It has a little 12 millimeter that uh, just holds it like a bracket over here. Right there. And then once we loosen that, it'll free up the exhaust. We've already loosened the bolts on the header to, I guess what you can say, old silencer portion. Once that's all free and loosened, we can get this out of here. Just wanted to show you, um, you got slave cylinder here. Goes connected to the fork on the transmission there. That's how you get your gear selection. Um, it has two 12 millimeter bolts on the top. You want to unbolt that, just move it out of the way. Um, as long as it's out of the way, then once the transmission comes out, you'll be all right. All right, guys, the header's off. As you can see there, got to take off some old gasket material before we put the new one on. Then we come with new gaskets. The three bolts here, one, two, and one over there are loose. And then come down here, got the exhaust out. So we got one bolt here, the bolt there under the starter, and one more bolt up top in the corner. And that'll free up the transmission from the engine. And then, like I said here, we just unbolt these two from the brace that holds the transmission mount. And then the transmission's free to come down. I do have to show you the shifter up top, how you take that out. But as you can see, the exhaust is off now. Everything's cleared out. We had to actually cut the exhaust to get it off. Like I said, it was done previously by someone else and it couldn't just slide right out. So there's the old exhaust next to the new one. You can see much nicer, much more uh, to the style of this vehicle. It's what it's supposed to have as opposed to what somebody thought it should have. That exhaust is to me what a turbo or like a different kind of car would have had, not this specific car. And then there's just a silencer showing you how to be mocked up to the header, how the old one was. Only thing we're going to be missing that we're going to have to go to a muffler shop and get done is this little section here. Fortunate, unfortunately, Racing Beat doesn't sell that piece. Um, you can't find it, so you just have to go get it made at a muffler shop, so we'll be doing that. But we're just about to get ready to start dropping the transmission, and we'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to show you the top portion. You just take off the little cover here. If you see, you got the shift knob here. You got to take the shift knob off. You don't really have to, but just to get access better, you want to take it off so you can get this off and this off. And then underneath these, which are torn and we got to replace, are the 10 millimeter bolts, and I'll show you them in a second. So now that I got it off, you'll see you got three 10 millimeter bolts. Obviously, the rubber is not supposed to be like this. That has to get replaced, but there's three 10 millimeter bolts, one here, one there, one here. Previous owner broke this one off, so it's missing that one. You unbolt these two, and the shifter will come right out. So I'll go ahead and show you they shouldn't be tight should be relatively just snug uh, it's you know aluminum so if you tighten it too much you'll snap the bolt hence what the previous owner did um, fortunately the new transmission that we have does not have any bolts broken in it so we'll actually have it buttoned up nice again if you see here when you take those 10 millimeters off 
There's this little protective metal cover. Just blocks any debris and any fluid from coming back up. And you have some shims that come with the shifter. And then the shifter just pulls right up and out of the slot. You'll see it. I try to keep it lubricated. A little bit of grease goes in there. It has the shims and then it has this little plastic um, little bushing as well. Uh, you can replace those. These are in good condition. Um, the new transmission has another shifter in it. We're just going to go ahead and leave that shifter made it to that transmission because that's how it was um, originally. And so that's the process for this portion. Now this is disconnected. We'll go to the bottom. We'll disconnect those bolts that I showed you and then the transmission will slide right out. All right, guys, here we go. About to pull the transmission out. You got that one? You got the one up here? Yeah. You got that one there, that one there, that one there. I undid the tops already. So all we got is this and this. You ready? Transmission is out, as you can see, and I will show you the transmission in a minute. Back here, just want to show you, um, we went ahead and replaced the rear seal, put a new one in there, and we're taking off the transmission brace and the uh, actual mount here. We got a new mount, um, already comes with bolts and everything. Just to let you know, this was bolted here like this. It had two 15 millimeter bolts right there, nuts. Took those off. We got some 12s right here, and we'll take that off, and then the mount will come off. Replace it with a new one. This one's all torn and beat up. You can see the flex in it and everything. So, and swap that out, to make it nice and strong. All right, everybody, taking advantage that we're doing a transmission, we're also going to replace the motor mounts with the stock motor mounts. You know, it's with the bridge port and all the upgrades, it's uh, you know rocking the engine pretty strong. So it's recommended to put some solid motor mounts in there. We got these here um, from where's the paperwork there from the guy? Got these from Level Zero Motorsports. Pretty quality, nice little billet aluminum ones. Come with the bolts, the hardware for it. So we already got the engine supported we're going to go ahead and start unbolting it and show you guys that process also so that you guys know and we've got the engine supported there and then if you see here that's one of the mount locations with the bracket and then the other mount location inside it has a bolt there and then there's also a bolt top side a nut holding the boat actually what I should say and we're gonna go ahead and remove those while the engine is being supported and then uh, replace them with those solid aluminum ones and it should give us better support for the engine for many many more braps to come All right, guys mounts are in see them there nice and clean simple setup came with its own bolts and everything show you down here Nice and clean, nice and strong. Engine's nice and stiff now. And that should solve, you know, any issues we had where it was shaking around and everything. All right, guys, here we go. Ready to put the transmission in. See how bad, easy, or worse that it gets. Try it out right now. Could be a little difficult. Make sure I got all my, uh, things that I need here. This is a 14 here. 
Make sure I'm squared away. And make sure you're squared away with your 14 for your transmission bolts. Got to lean the engine a little bit. It's trial and error. Should be good there. Mm -hmm. Did this bend up? Mm -hmm. It's just in the way. It's just in the way. Gotcha. Should we just take it off? It's always been there. Yeah. It's fine. Let's try it. Alright. Ready? Going against the front. I'll get the back. You got it? Hold it. Hold it for a second. I just want to make these, these lines are in the way. Engine's still a little high. See if you can bring that jet and we'll hold the tranny. Trying to adjust the uh, stack jack. Go ahead, you try it. I think it's just the fact that uh, those new mounts are in and the engine's stiff. Mm -hmm. Stiffer than before. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna pause it for a second and uh, adjust that real quick. Alright, guys, so. What actually happened is we had a piece of wood stuck in between the subframe and the engine. Wasn't letting us get enough play so that we can get it in there. We've got that taken out. We've got it secured a little better. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to mate the transmission to the engine. Slide it in. It should go in easier now because it's supposed to have the space that it needs. Piece. I can see if I can uh, we might pull it back a little bit. 
Like you said, maybe drop it a little more. made it we're gonna put a couple bolts in there to make it close the gap so it's still not close enough to come in push it a little bit there we go still not close enough to come in there is it Sorry guys. All right, everybody, we're back. Had a little hiatus. Uh, had to figure some things out. Um, the bracket on the transmission mount was flipped the other way. Put it on backwards. My mistake. Um, so once we got that sorted out, we were able to get it back in there. Um, transmission is all bolted up. Everything's all bolted up. Starters on everything. I'll kind of go over it with you just so you can see. Um, things bolted up there. Slave cylinder back on. We went ahead and put those mounts in. You can see one of the mounts here real nice and clear. Uh, it's real solid. Engine isn't going anywhere. A lot better. See the transmission mounted up there. We actually did a little cleaning to the carb a little couple minutes ago. Didn't film that, but it's pretty basic. Just had to get some old fuel that was in there out. Still got to prepare the surface for the header to go back on with the new gasket. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys how it was now that we got the transmission all bolted back up. So, you see here, this is the mount. The old mount was so bad that it had a lot of play and it was easier to get these bolted up. Um, this one, obviously, since it's brand new, stiff and secured. So it was giving us a problem trying to get it back on. What, I re what my buddy realized is it was backwards. So we had to take it off, we flipped it around, put it back, bolted it up, bolted the transmission back up, we got the starter on, all the bolts tight, all the connections made again, everything secured, you see it's not on stands no more, everything secured, and then we went ahead, got the shifter back on, show you that. Shifter's back in place. This one actually had a nicer shift knob, the original shift knob. What we did notice, this one is a lot stiffer now. The gear is going really well. And the spring that gives the slack is nice and tight. So this actually is going to be a lot better for us now. So we're good with that. And we're going to go ahead and start chopping up the exhaust. And we'll get back with you guys. All right, guys. So we had a little problem with the exhaust. Uh, previous owner um, eliminated some hangers and brackets that we needed in order to put this on so we're not able to put the muffler on today but we did get the header back on and we got the pre-silencer on you'll see the header is bolted back up with a new gasket and then under here you'll see we got the pre-silencer on so we're gonna have to take it like this to a muffler shop and have them fabricate the little pipe that we need, which isn't that big, and then make some brackets so that we can use the hanger locations that the muffler actually has, because we did get a lot of gaskets, a lot of bolts, and a lot of uh, things to 
upgrade the hangers and everything. Problem is, we don't have the stock stuff to go ahead and do that. So for right now, this is how it's gonna be until tomorrow.